Okay, today um, testing BMW Vanos uh, camshaft adjustment solenoid. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So you get the multimeter, turn it on, put uh, the thingos like this. There we go. That's a, that's a number. That is a number of ohms. There we go. Okay, so we've done that. That's um, a spec. Is it the spec? Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Uh, let me get these little guys. Uh, let's put, I'll put them around the other way that I did. I've already done this to make sure that it works. Because who does things without making sure it works? So you get the little leads there. Now these little guys go all along here. To this, this is a pulse width modulator controller with a little dial. Like, what was it? Five bucks on eBay. You can buy fancier ones that do more amperage. Um, I should say wattage that have more heat sinks inside. I put it in this box because for fucking I'm a mad dog. So here we go. This thing, what do we got? We set it to that and we have fucking maxed the amps out. So I do this. Oh, there we go, drawing one amp, which makes sense. We've got 12, actually no, it doesn't make sense. So I'll turn the knob back and forth like this. Let's see. Look at it go. Whoop. I'll get my torch out. So I can see a little bit better. Isn't that incredible? Um, so yeah, this is uh, functioning to say the least. Congratulations, little valve. You did it. Yay. Yep. Now, a more in-depth um, explanation of what's going on here. Now, I'll get my torch. Hold my, oh, okay, there we go. Hold my torch there. This looks really awkward. So you see in here, there's a little spring. So there's a spring inside here. This is the piston. You can see it in, in previously, the piston was moving. And then in here is the solenoid. So the solenoid pushes the piston against the spring. Now the solenoid works by being given 12, 12 volts of electricity fucking in here. Doesn't matter what the polarity is because it's a fucking solenoid. It's just a magnet, electromagnet, pushing a little iron core that fucking pushes on the piston, which pushes against the spring. So the spring returns it when the voltage is turned off. Now, what's happening is, so, I turn that on, and you can see the piston's moving. Okay. Oh, that one's not moving a lot. Oh dear. There we go. You now it's meant to move a little bit more. Um, anyway. So, this guy generates zero. I've, I've got it set to generate 12 volts. So coming out of this is 12 volts of electricity. And this guy is a pulse, pulse width modulator, which chops up the signal. So it makes it go oh, down to zero, up and down, da -da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba really fucking quickly in like fucking um, one millisecond. In about that much time, it's fucking turning it on and off shitloads, depending on how much I turn this. So if I turn this all the way down here, it's only going to put out zero volts. However, when I turn it up all the way, it's going to be putting out almost 12 volts because it's going to be turning this on and off a lot. And if I put it about halfway, it's going to do something similar to this sort of shit. Fucking half the time it's going to be full 12 volts and the other half of the time it's going to be zero volts. So what that means is, when this thing doesn't have like all the volts 
because it's going on and off really quickly, the coil can only generate so much power to push it against the spring so much. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something, but fuck me, I should have written all this down before doing anything. Uh, so yeah, um, that's the explanation of what's going on. Um, good luck with whatever you intend to do in the future. <laughs>